If you've ever been to the Tingling Mountains, the one thing you would have noticed is how huge the area is. Because it covers such an immense amount of land, it has always been a site that is near impossible to navigate. But all of that is about to change. According to CNOS.com, since July 3rd of last year, the government has been working on making a new digital map that will give detail on the whole area like never seen before. Previous maps on the Tingling Mountain used a scale of 1 to 50,000, meaning that one unit equals 50,000 units of that same measurement on the ground. The project the government is working on now is a map of 1 to 10,000. The difference here is night and day. Previous maps would give you a brief location on certain destinations by dropping markers in and around that area. Now we're able to zoom into any village or town to see a great amount of detail. How much detail, you ask? Well, any path that is only one meter wide, no matter if it's concrete or gravel, will show up. The only issue was that although the photos were high resolution, they still didn't uncover every small path as a lot were covered by bridges or hidden in forests. So for every path that wasn't revealed in the pictures, people had to walk on foot through these areas and take pictures and measurements. No doubt a process like this is very time consuming, which is why to this day there is only one section of teaming that is completed. So why is the government spending so much time and money on a project just for the Qingling area? Well, there are three main reasons. First is to help get as much information about the area in respect to the landscape so that when they are to make future developments, they can make better decisions. The second reason is for wildlife. While getting into so much detail, they are now able to tag and trace wild animal movement. By doing this, they're able to keep a closer eye on their endangered species like the panda or crested abyss. The third reason is for tourists, because tourism is such a big industry in the Tingling area, this new digital map will give tourists detailed information about where to go. Over the years, people have easily gotten lost in these areas as the terrain is very tricky and the weather is constantly misty, making it hard to see. So with this app that I mentioned before, people can now find their exact location and can easily find their way out. As well as helping you out of a rough situation, this map will also work as a way to caution you by making dangerous locations marked on the map like where certain wild animals are or certain terrain to stay away from. If you want to look at the map in sections that are already completed, you can jump on their website at www.shasm.gov.cn and click on the World Map Sensor link that is located on the left-hand side just above the halfway mark on the page. Or if you can wait, you can just download the app later on this year. Well, that's it for today's show. We are now seeing the back end of winter and starting to welcome spring. The weather here is perfect. It's not too cold and it's not too hot. The only problem is the springtime here in the north is so short, it only lasts about two to three weeks. So if you are here for this good period, you can make the most of it by going to the famous destinations like Luoping County in Yunnan, Wuyang City in Jiangxi, and Hanzhong City in Shanxi to see the famous rapeseed flowers as they're about to start blossoming right now. Whatever choice you make, I hope you have an awesome spring. I'm Aaron Stadlin-Roby and I'll see you soon.